Hey, good morning, guys. It is Friday. Um, I hope you're all having a blessed week. For those of you who look forward to Fridays, the weekend is upon us, so congrats, you made it. Um, I don't know, I kind of feel like if you love what you do, the days typically don't matter. Uh, but Fridays are typically the days that I get a fresh haircut, so that's what I had to do this morning. Um, and these cars are just passing by. But I find myself in Huntington Beach, California, where I'm gonna be scanning this side right behind me. Um, now I scanned it a couple of months ago, but I think they're gonna want it to be a periodic thing. And um, we are outside of John Wayne's Class Charlie airspace. However, the Charlie still exists above us at 2,500 feet. And we're gonna be well below that at 250, scanning this site. Uh, now, the reason I even mention that is because this busy street where you hear all the cars passing by, this is Magnolia right here. Pacific Coast Highway is right back there and Huntington Beach is right behind that. So, um, there's a bunch of helicopters that transition this area, so that's something that we need to be really aware of and cognizant about. So I'm gonna make sure that the drone is in line of sight and that we listen out for helicopters that are flying that low. Um, now, this site is a little bit different than the one that we shot earlier in the week in Whittier. Um, it's not that big, so we're not gonna be using the EB. We're actually gonna be using the Mavic 2 Pro and Pix4D. So let me show you what that looks like right now. All right, so this is Pix4D. We have the flight plan all in there. So we're gonna hit start. We're gonna tap on next. Then it's gonna go through its uh, takeoff checklist. Uh, it's gonna upload the mission to the drone. It's gonna get the camera all set up. And I'm gonna hit start. And it's gonna launch the Mavic 2. All right, so typically you can tap on this little camera and see exactly what the drone is seeing. However, I think there's an issue with Pix4D and the Mavic 2s that it's not allowing you to see, or it's not giving the feed through the Pix4D app. So it's a fix, it's a known issue. I've looked on all the different forums. It seems like uh, Pix4D needs to kind of do an update on their software or something to update support for the Mavic 2. Uh, but yeah, kind of sucks that there's no feed. Just like I said. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to go home and process this footage and deliver it to the client. And I pretty much have the rest of the day to go do what I need to do. So, um, on that note, I'm out. Oh, but before I leave, uh, a lot of people have been hitting me up asking me what happened to my Jeep. Um, as you can see, I no longer have the Jeep. Um, it's been kind of a process. Uh, it was sad to see it go, but I'm kind of glad that it is gone because it has been um, kind of like a downhill slope from um, the time that it went to the dealer and it was just a headache. But um, I have since got a brand new 2004 Toyota 4Runner. Share it, bro. Lift it, bro. Lift it. But uh, shout out to Joe Coy. Anyhow, man, I'm out of here. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. God bless, fly safe, and I'll see you on the next video.